Hi, it's Simon. I'm outside. It is another glorious afternoon in June here in Kent. Now beside me here we have this little apple tree. Probably not edible, little crab apples, but it points at something. It points at how often the seeds and the roots are not the same as the fruits. Now that may seem obvious, you may have heard that before, but often people want to get the fruits and they're focusing on the fruits. And actually the thing to do is focusing on the seeds and the roots. So why am I talking about that today? Well, today is one of our weekly on Wednesday days. I've been thinking a lot and sharing a lot with people, thinking about where they're at, where they're really at, not what they say they're at, but where they're really at in life and business, and what's possible and how they can upgrade and reset their agreements with themselves and other people. As I speak to other people, it has me think about that for myself too. One of the beauties of teaching and sharing, mentoring people, is you also get that experience. You get to see things different angles and add to your perspectives. Now, in the process of doing that, you start realizing that people speak in different languages. Often people are wanting to raise capital, to pitch their ideas, but they're thinking about the things the way they think about them. So what does that mean? They might go, I'm looking to raise £50,000 to make a short film. Okay, great. And if you had the money, then what? Well, I do this and this and this. But what they turn out often is they're not thinking about what they do at the end of that process. They haven't thought through, well, what comes next? They haven't thought through how to market the movie. One of the most frustrating things, I think, is to have an amazing book or photo or video or app and nobody knows about it. One of the most challenging things as a creative person is to have something that you've done, you've birthed, and yet it's sort of dying on the vine. Like those fruit, if you just left them there, they'd eventually rot. And there comes a time when you have to actually harvest the fruit. You have to go out there and pick it yourself, have a system or team to do that for you, and to know when is the right time. Now it can take something, it can take experience, it can take luck, Often the farmers in the past, they'd have sunny days, sunny days, sunny days, and about to harvest, and suddenly a storm will come and flatten the crop. That's happened so many times in history, and is so challenging. And the other danger is you harvest early and miss out on the benefits, or you just forget something happens that stops you doing it. So what can you do? Well, firstly, you can know that's the process. We talked about the the business philosophy of Jim Rohn, this ant philosophy. We can step into being a seeder, a planter, Somebody who's planting seeds again and again and again, while they're harvesting, they're planting seeds. They're doing things on rotation. They're aware of the cycles of life and nature. And so when you're using languaging, as I'm doing right now, I'm using metaphors, I'm using conversations. And we're always doing that because the context, the metaphors, the conversations we have are not the reality. They're a pointer at it. They're a, a, an ability to communicate with somebody else. But it takes something, it takes listening and it takes thinking, and it takes some clarity, it takes some work to really communicate effectively. But that work, that energy, might be really simple. It might be simple as just going, and from that place, getting present to what's really going on to that person, giving them a chance to share. Now when we're talking on video like this, you can't share back to me, you can put a comment below the video. That's very different than we're live on a Zoom or we're live in the world, and hopefully soon we'll be live together. Some of you, you mean typically, may choose to come to Freshflow, freshflow freshflow.co, coming up in a few months. You may choose to come meet me at some point in the world. Or you may not yet come and choose that. But that's okay. But the choice is to actually interact with somebody live. The choice is to engage. The choice is to listen or the choice is to create. And the choice is to focus on the fruits or on the roots. Now having a bit of fun today, it's a Wednesday, a fun day for us because we get to connect with people all over the world. Some of them are long-standing partners, some of them new partners, and hear what they've been up to, what they're challenged by, what they're excited by. And that gets me into a whole different mood. It gets me creatively thinking about the future. And on a day like today, when the weather's amazing, when the fruits are coming out on the trees, I'm grateful for that. And I wish you an amazing Wednesday, and I hope to speak to you soon. Bye for now.